Hi guys, I'm Trudy. And welcome to this terrific Tuesday episode of the Daily Video Announcements. Today is October 25th, and I'm Sarah. And hi, I'm Noah. Now it is time that we all stand and place our hand over our heart and honor this awesome country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Okay, keep checking your school emails like professionals and young adults do. After today, only two more days remain of our first quarter. The quarter ends Thursday, and we have our first of five student professional learning days where the teachers are at school and the students work out of school. Make sure to complete your learning tasks and activities from, whatever, from wherever you are on your personal learning day, no, number one. Our next second student personal learning days occur on Monday, November 21st, Tuesday, no November 22nd, the week of Thanksgiving. Keep working and stay classy, Sycamore. Okay, guys, remember to check the lost and found table for any missing items. The table is overflowing and will soon be gone. All items not claimed will eventually be donated. And if you are missing a sweatshirt, water bottle, device, charger, or anything, check the table. It's right by the main entrance under the welcome side. And take care of your locker, too. All right. Happy day two of Diwali to our Hindu and Sikh friends celebrating this week. I've seen some lights around town with friends celebrating, fireworks, as well as family gatherings. Yes. Happy Diwali. Enjoy celebrating for the rest of this week. Woo! Okay. And for those celebrating Halloween soon, your voice has been heard. Those interested have been approved to wear a school-appropriate Halloween costumes next Monday, October 31st. Now, over to Mr. Cole for more information on this. Good morning, Sycamore Junior High. Mr. Cole here, uh, and I just want to start off by saying a huge thank you uh, for all your hard work around Glowathon. Um, obviously, we raised over $26,000, which will go back to us to help support our clubs and activities. The event was amazing uh it was so fun watching you guys dance play nine square uh inside and then out at field day the competition was just absolutely ferocious uh so we have a couple prizes to award uh first of all for our uh, glowathon video winners our top three videos um in no particular order uh was caden clardy brown uh video made by kyra jane and shania and uh, shania paul so if those three groups of students, you guys want to stop by Miss Namaki, she will have something for you. Um, out at field day, uh, oh man, uh, the tug of war, the soccer, uh, the seventh grade winners, uh, Flex Spell, uh, is Miss Diorio's class, and our eighth grade winner is Miss Huffman's class. And so again, we will get you guys some information on a pizza party. So great job with that. Um, I can't wait to uh, get that recess packed out there, get the nine squares set up, and get you guys lots of great things to do um, outside. The second reason I'm going to come up here this morning uh, is to talk about Halloween. So next Monday is obviously um, October 31st, also Bengals Browns Monday Night Football, which is huge. Uh, and so as you guys heard yesterday is that uh, we're going to do some costumes on Halloween. We're going to do a costume contest during lunchtime for each lunch period. Um, and the categories we have are the funniest, the scariest, the most creative, the best group. Uh, and obviously we'll get you guys some candy. It'll be staff winners as well. So it'll be cool to see what the teachers come up with. Uh, just a couple reminders um, on the Halloween thing. So we're wearing costumes, but school still has to happen. And so um, obviously there's no weapons or fake weapons. Um, you know, there's no masks. Still need to be able to uh, see that awesome face of yours. Uh, Got to follow the dress code. Uh, and no affiliate, politically affiliated costumes, and you kind of have to be able to sit and learn and move throughout the school uh, without disrupting others. So uh, what that means is that if your goal was to come as a large octopus with eight six-foot tentacles, we're going to have to rethink that. So if you have a question about whether or not your costume is going to be okay or not, why don't you just drop me an email uh, and uh, I can try to help you out. So great job with Glowathon, great job with Field Day, so excited for Halloween. Uh, let's keep rocking as we wrap up the first quarter. Thanks, and go Aves.
we get to wear Halloween costumes? <gasps> that is crazy. Thanks, Mr. Cole. That sounds like a lot of fun. And our Flex Bells decide to participate in the Decorate the Door activity. That's going to be so much fun, too. Remember to bring your supplies in if you organize to decorate, too. All right, we have a spirit day tomorrow. Wednesday, October 26th, wear your yellow and or blue to support Down Syndrome awareness. Woo! I plan to wear my blue and yellow to support Down Syndrome awareness. Also, remember to mark your calendars to support our 7th grade FTC Robotics team this Saturday at the October 29th Montgomery Farmers Market. Now, we have Mr. Harris with our Students of the Week. Good afternoon. It gives me great pleasure now to present this week's Students of the Week. So our first Student of the Week is Nala Britton. Come on in, Nala. And Nala was nominated by Mrs. Huff. And again, as with all of our Students of the Week, she was nominated for all of our PBIS uh, values there, be safe, she's responsible, she's a problem solver, and she's respectful. So Nala, here's your certificate, and more important, Chick-fil-A. Go on, girl. Okay. Owen Talavage, and Owen was nominated by Mrs. Henson. All right, so Owen, congratulations. Here's your certificate, and your Chick-fil-A. There you go. Sean Walker is our student of the week, and Sean was nominated by Mrs. Ramatka. Okay, and so there's your certificate and your Chick-fil-A. Congratulations. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, come on in here, Alan Reyes. And Alan was nominated by Mr. Heil. And again, as with all these students of the week, he was nominated for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So there's your certificate. There's your Chick-fil-A. Those are our students of the week. All right. Thank you, Mr. Harris, and congratulations to our students of the week. Next up, National Day. Today is National Greasy Food Day. I love bacon and burgers and fries and fried chicken and hot dog and pizza. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Noah. <laughs> In celebration of National Greasy Food Day, here's a list of some different cooking oils. Olive oil, palm oil, soybean oil, canola oil, pumpkin oil, corn oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, peanut oil, Grapeseed oil, sesame oil, agrin oil, rice bran oil, other vegetable oils, butter, and lard. Lard. Yes. Next up, birthdays. birthdays! Happy birthday to nobody. There are no staff or students who will be celebrating their birthday today. <laughs> Imagine. Now, over to Mr. Harris. Hello, Sycamore Junior High. We could not get Mr. Harris here today, so now we have Mr. Stern doing his part. Thank you, Noah. Good afternoon, Sycamore. These are your afternoon announcements. Hey, any 7th and 8th grade boy interested in trying out for the basketball team, this is a reminder there will be another open gym on Wednesday for 7th graders. That'll take place from 3.15 until 5 o'clock and 8th graders from 5 until 6.30. Tryouts will begin on Friday. Make sure you show up with a white t-shirt and your name written on the back. All forms need to be completed on final forms in order to try out. And sticking with that theme of winter sports for all those interested in wrestling, this is a reminder that there will be a meeting in the old gym during Flex Bell on Thursday, October 27th. Wrestling meeting, old gym, Flex Bell on Thursday. Hey, and just a side note, those of you who are currently involved in football and that is something that you want to continue, wrestling is a great sport to um, prepare you for next year for football. Not only will it build up your upper body, but it will build your balance, and you'll really learn a lot about um, things that will help you become a better football player. So think about that. I know I hear some football players talking about, hey, I'm going to lift for the, for the off season, but this is a great way to get yourself prepared for uh, next fall. Hey, Technology Club uh, it is about to get started. If you are interested in all things tech, including but not limited to engineering and the design process, computer software, 3D printing, robotics, computer hardware, PC building, makerspace applications, VR and gaming, hey, you might want to join the Technology Club. They will be holding an informational meeting after school in the Media Center. That'll take place on Tuesday, November 1st from 3.15 until 3.45. You will need a ride home. If you cannot attend, please email Mr. Brenner or Mr. Gutermuth, or we like to call him Mr. Google Muth, for more information. 
Hey, please note that there will not be a junior high FTC robotics meeting this coming Monday, October 31st. That sounds like a fun day to go home and get prepared for Halloween. Make sure to go home right after school on Monday. Your next meeting will be Wednesday, November 2nd from 3 until 5 o'clock. Questions? You can see Mrs. Jarvis or Mr. Hartley. I think that's it. Yeah. How do we do? And now for the joke of the day. What has four wheels and flies? I don't know. What has a garbage truck? <laughs> 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 that, that, that was a good one. All right, that's a wrap for today. We cannot wait to see you tomorrow in your blue and yellow for Down Syndrome Awareness. And have an amazing day, Sycamore. And make sure to stay be Sycamore, classy, and go, go Ace! Ace!